fingerprinting of rice cultivars using RAPD markers. DNA markers are elements which can be readily detected by molecular techniques and used to follow a chromosome or chromosomal segment during the characterization of cultivars. The important steps are collection of leaf samples, DNA isolation, PCR analysis, agros gel electrophoresis, generation of marker data and software analysis. After collection of samples, the DNA will be extracted using CTAP method. The reagents required are CTAP buffer, chloroform isoamyl alcohol mixture in the ratio of 24 is to 1, ice cold isopropanol and TE buffer. The leaves are cut into small pieces and ground with CTAP buffer and transferred to the centrifuge tubes. After grinding, the samples kept in a water bath at 65 degree centigrade for 20 minutes. The 20 minutes incubation of 65 degree centigrade will improve the efficiency of the chemicals added. Chloroform isoamyl alcohol added. Then kept in a centrifuge at 12,000 rpm for 20 minutes at 4 degree centigrade. The top layer with the DNA transferred to another centrifuge tube. Then ice cold isopropanol is added. It is again centrifuged at 12,000 rpm for 20 minutes at 4 degree centigrade. The superintendent is discarded. The pellet is washed with 70% ethanol. Then the pellet is air dried. Finally, the pellet is dissolved with 1x TE buffer. In agros gel electrophoresis, the samples are loaded with dye. DNA bands are observed. The next step is PCR analysis. The PCR reaction mixtures contains the sterile water, 10x PCR buffer to maintain the pH of the reaction, DNTPs to provide purines and primidins, primer to bind the complementary sequences, genomic DNA. and tag polymerase. This contains are mixed well and kept in a PCR machine. Then we move on to setting the PCR. The PCR tubes are placed in PCR machine and PCR conditions are set. The next step is agros gel electrophoresis. 3 gram agros mixed with 1x TBE buffer for preparing 3% agros gel. The solution is heated for getting agros gel suspension in microwave oven for 3 minutes. Ethidium bromide used as a staining agent at the final concentration of 1 microgram per ml. Then the open ends of gel casting plate sealed with cello tape properly placed the comb in gel casting tray. Agros gel is poured into the gel casting tray. After solidification of agros gel, the comb is removed. Then the cello tapes are 
removed carefully. Place the gel in the chamber which is containing 1x TBE buffer. DNA samples were mixed well with 5 microliter of loading dye. Then the DNA samples loaded into the wells. The gel is run at 110 volts for 2.5 hours. The next, the gel was documented. Presence of a RAPD band corresponds to a dominant allele against absence of a band that corresponds to a recessive allele. Here, absence of a particular RAPD band in LAN2 showing the polymorphism of the variety. DNA fingerprinting is highly precision in identifying plant genotypes. It is reliable tool of intellectual property protection of crop varieties and gem blossom. This is highly useful in IPR and dust testing. DNA fingerprinting technology has been applied to detect non-basmati grains in samples of basmati and quantify non-basmati grains in basmati rice samples. British Food Standards Agency using DNA fingerprinting technique for analyzing the basmati rice cultivars.